everyone welcome back it's been a while um but i'm home it's summer so i'm hoping to edit videos i've filmed videos i've just not edited them so <laughs> we'll see when this one goes up but today i thought it'd be fun to do a notion tour so let's open up notion and yeah i spent all day yesterday doing this so this is what it looks like it was kind of scary to get it started but i just went on pinterest and uh, I had the sa picture saved, um, but I think it's nice to like, you know, have a little picture to set the vibes and I think it goes well with this like flower vase. Um, this is just from a selection of photos that uh, Notion already had. I didn't really find any of my own covers because, I don't know, I've spent one day on this, so <laughs> I don't even know if this is great, but I, I like how it looks. Um, so here I have a little quote. I don't really know what that means. I just like found it and I was like, you know, that's, that's nice that this can be a, a place that changes, but we'll see. Um, and then we have today's tasks. So oh, just walked my dog. His name is Boon. So I did that. And then I'm working on a painting. So that's another thing I want to get done today. But then here I have my like bigger to-do list. Stuff I have to do stuff I'm doing, etc. And then I have all these different pages. And I guess my tip for starting a notion is just to like, yeah, get a general template down and like all the pages you want down and then do little icons. So then you feel a little more organized. Then you like go into each page and then you like set a cover, um, you jot down some ideas and it'll just make you feel so much more organized and it, it'll feel so much more manageable once you like get these things so it doesn't just look like a blank page you know what i mean and you can watch other videos on like you know how the commands actually work yeah the most helpful thing for me was figuring out how to make columns i also just searched that up on youtube but yeah so here are my pages so i have it by sections so i made a heading then i made like a divider and then I just, you know, did the pages. Yeah, so I have ideas for clay, which you saw. I have patterns, which I haven't put in, but I'm going to consolidate all my knitting and crochet patterns on here, stuff that I have digitally. And then I also have a row counter, which I don't know if I'll keep, but I imported this as a widget from Indify, which I'll link below. Um, Cause I also have Notion on my phone. So it might be good when I'm working on projects to like, you know, count my rows. I don't know. Um, and then I have a page that's called Recommended Artists. Um, these are artists that came up during my painting class this past semester that I thought were interesting. Some of them aren't spelled correctly because I wrote them down based on how they sounded phonetically when my professor um, talked about them, but so that's nice. This page, my vision for it later is gonna like be more Pinteresty, like have more photos. I might even like restructure it, but for now I just have the names down because before they were just on pieces of paper um and then i have youtube youtube ideas things i've filmed um i'll probably restructure this as well but yeah and then art thesis thoughts um so i'm a rising senior so yeah this summer i'm gonna try a bunch of stuff and next year too the whole year i'll try a bunch of stuff but these are my ideas um and then food i have a grocery list this is just stuff that we don't have in the house that i kind of want this is just stuff for salads essentially i do like a good salad this i made this page for this recipe specifically <laughs> carabas is a restaurant that i frequent a lot when i'm on the east coast and i always get their zucchini fries because they're so good and i would like to recreate them at home so i found this recipe that sounds like pretty legit and i'm gonna try it this summer um, but then here's just like other things that um, I've made before or I want to make, but you know, all these pages are blank <laughs> because like I said, I made these yesterday, I made this yesterday. And then over here, dreams and plans. So this is a brain dump, which I haven't put anything into, but that's just a place for me to put thoughts. Um, and then this is called next trip because I didn't know what else to call it, but I'm going to hang out with couple of friends soon and I'm just jotting down stuff that we wanted to bring to the beach with us um and then things to do in Orange County because I'm gonna be home this summer and I live in Orange County and yeah looking ahead this is like senior year stuff which I'm sure will be expanded into more pages but for now since it hasn't started 
this is what it looks like. Um, these, this is my fall class schedule. I just added um, this English class, Alternate War Histories of Asia, America. Um, and that was really interesting, so I added it, but I might just audit it. And I'm like 75% sure I'll just take it past fail because writing essays is not my forte, but I really love to read and discuss readings in class, but I'm much more of a listener. Um, so I'd much rather just be a fly on the wall in the conversation rather than, you know, having to really think about participation. Am I doing well in this class, etc. Like, I just kind of want to treat it as a book club. So I might audit it instead of taking it for reals. Um, but this is my class schedule. I forgot what else I wanted to take in the spring. This is what I know I'll be taking for sure. Um, and then grad programs. I am considering going to grad school for art therapy. So these are all the art therapy grad programs. Um, I haven't thought about it much, but you know, I put it there. I did put it there. And then shopping, very exciting. So this is my wish list of like stuff I'm like thinking about getting, but like, or want to get, but not at this moment or just stuff I'm thinking about. And then here's some ceramic supplies, some art supplies. I, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. Um, and then gift ideas. But yeah, I just have it by people and gift ideas because sometimes I get a really good one. And they were just like sporadically in my notes app on my phone. So I thought that wasn't the best way to organize. And I thought this might be a better way to organize. And I have entertainment, a watch list. Yeah, William and I watch a lot of stuff when we're hanging out together. So there were more on this list, but we've seen them, obviously. So this is what I had on my notes app that we hadn't seen. And then a reading list, which I haven't filled out, but I do have a lot of books, read sections of for school that I want to keep reading or just fiction or other books I want to read on my own. I guess that is kind of it. But yeah, I, I think my tips for starting a notion if you're a beginner is to figure out all the pages you want to have. Like for my notion, I'm not really using it as a planner because I much rather use a physical planner to do like academic things. But I think for the summer, like I just have a lot of ideas and a lot of lists. That is what I think Notion is good for, is to make all my lists and to make them organized and look nice instead of it just existing in my notes app or on random scraps of paper, which is how they existed before. Yeah, I think an outline is all you need. There's a lot of fancy stuff you can do, watch other videos on how to do that. But for me, this is what works and I hope you enjoyed my Notion tour. You should subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like all the stuff. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.